Hello friend, welcome to the abstract algebra class. It is class 63. In this class also we want to prove examples of automorphism. First example, let f psi to psi into psi be a homomorphism defined by fx equal to minus x for all x belongs to psi. We are that with respect to addition is an abelian group. Then show that f is an automorphism. First one, we according to our definition, we want to sh show that f is one one, f is on two, and f is homomorphism. First, let x one comma x two belongs to z. This implies mi minus x one mi uh, comma minus x two also belongs to z. Suppose f x one equal to f x two, f and only f minus x one is equal to minus x two. According to the definition, instead of f x one, we put it minus x one. Instead of f f f of x two, we put it minus x two. If and only if if we multiply both sides by min minus, we uh, get x one equal to x two. Therefore, f is well defined at one one. With, according to this uh, relation, we can write f is well defined at one one. Number two, we want to prove that f is on two. We know the definition of on two mapping for x belongs to z. Z is codomain, and here codomain and domain are same. X belongs to z is from codomain. Uh, there exists minus x belongs to z from domain, such that f minus x, f of minus x, x is is equal to minus minus x. Here is x is minus x. Minus minus x equal to x. Therefore, f is on two. X also is belongs to z. Number three. Now we want to show that f is homomorphism. Let x one, x two belongs to z. This implies my x one plus x two also belongs to z. Now f f of e because z is group under multiplication under addition. Therefore, there Uh, addition also is belongs to z. Close the axiom hole. F of x one plus x two is equal to minus x one plus x two. It is equal to minus x one plus minus x two. We multiply both by minus. It is equal to f of x one instead minus x one. We put it f of x one plus instead of minus x two. We put it f of x two. Therefore, f of x one plus x two is equal to f of x one plus f f of x two for all x one, comma x two belongs to z. Actually, this this is the definition of homomorphism. Therefore, f is a uh, homomorphism. Therefore, f such that from z into z is one one, one one, and on two also homomorphism. Three condition hold according to the definition. Therefore. F is an automorphism. Here is another example. F G is an additive groups group of complex numbers. Then F size at G into G defined by F of Z is equal to P Z size at P is a non-zero complex number for all Z belongs to G. We we want to we want to verify that this this example is automorphism or not. First solution solution z one comma z two. First one we want to prove that f is one one. Z one comma z two belongs to G. This implies z one plus z two also belongs to G because G is additive a group. Therefore, close the axiom hole. Suppose f of z one equal to f of z two. F and only f. Instead of f of z one, we put it p z one. P z one. Instead of f of z two, we put it p z two. F and only f. We if we can uh, use cancellation uh, left cancellation law, we can we get z one equal to z two. Therefore, f is well defined and one one. Number two, let z one belongs to G. Uh, G is codomain. Uh, this implies there exists z one by P belongs to G. Uh, G is domain. Say that f of z one 
by p is equal to p into z1 by p equal to z1 therefore f is on 2 because for h z1 there is a z p z1 by p such that f of z1 by p is equal to z1 uh, it shows that f is on 2 third one now we want to prove that f is homomorphism now if f of it, z1 plus z2 is equal to p into z1 plus z2 according to the definition of f it is equal to p into z1 plus p into z2 we multiply p inside the bracket we get instead of p z1 we put we can put f of z1 plus f of z2 for all z1 comma z2 belongs to g therefore f is a homomorphism therefore f size that g into g dash we prove that g into g dash this mapping is one one on two and homomorphism therefore according to the definition f is an automorphism of g example the mapping f size that g into g size that f of a is equal to a inverse for all a belongs to g is an automorphism of a group a group g f and only f g is an abelian group the mapping f such that g into g is such that f of a equal to a inverse for all a belongs to g is an automorphism of a group g f and only f g is an abelian group now here in this example first we want to prove that if f is automorphism by this by this definition f is automorphism if and only if g is an b an abelian group let you with uh, respect to multiplication b a group and e belongs to g be the identity and f such that g into g is a mapping defined by f of a equal to a inverse for all a belongs to g it is the analyzing of example we have to prove that f is an automorphism if and only if g is an abelian suppose f is an automorphism we assume first assume that f is an automorphism we assume that the left side is true we have to prove that the right side suppose f is an automorphism say that uh, automorphism mean if say that g into g is one one on two and homomorphism let x comma y belongs to g or now f is an one one or two out on two and homomorphism then we, we have to prove that g is an abelian group let x comma y belongs to g this implies x x into y also belongs to g g is a group include the axiom whole consider f of x into y is equal to x into y whole inverse is equal to y inverse into x inverse it is equal to f uh, instead of y inverse we can write f, f of y into f of x it is equal to f of y into x therefore we we use, we show that f of x into y is equal to f of y into x and f is one one this implies x y x into y is equal to y into x for all x y belongs to g therefore g is an abelian group if we put this here f of x y is equal to f of x y this shows that g is an abelian group converse of the theorem we now assume that the left side is the right side is true g is an abelian group then we have to prove that g is automorphism suppose g is an abelian group this implies when g is an abelian group x into y is equal to y into x according to the definition of abelian group for all x y belongs to g suppose f of x is equal to f of y this implies instead of f of x we can write x inverse here f of a equal to a inverse here instead of f of x we can write x inverse equal to y inverse this implies x inverse whole inverse equal to y inverse whole inverse and this implies x equal to y actually we we uh, from f of x equal to f of y we get x equal to y therefore f is one one we now prove that f is on two number two let x inverse belongs to g could domain then there exists x inverse whole inverse belongs to g do mine 
this implies x inverse whole inverse is equal to x belongs to g g is domain such that f of x equal to x inverse it means for every x inverse there is an element x from every x inverse of from q domain there is an element x belongs to q domain such that f of x equal to x inverse therefore f is on two on two number three here we want to prove that f is homomorphism f of x into y is equal to x into y whole inverse is equal to x inverse y inverse into x inverse it is equal to instead of y inverse we can write f y f of y into f of x it is equal to f of x into f of y therefore f of x into y is equal to f of x into f of y for all x comma y belongs to g this shows that therefore f is a homomorphism f is a homomorphism therefore since since f is a homomorphism comma one one and on two these are the definition of automorphism therefore we conclude that f is an automorphism it is the solution of the problem thank you